this is my hardy banana tree. It's been in the ground now with minimal protection for 10 years. I think this year we're about 12 feet high and probably at least 12 feet wide, if not closer to 15 feet wide. It's an enormous plant. There's a little bit of frost damage at the very tips and some wind damage from some high winds a few days ago. It will take light frost and we've actually had four or five light frosts so far, but we're going to get a hard freeze down into the teens in another day or two, at which point all of the top growth will die and it will be killed back to the underground corm. Um, use of Bazju, depending on which reference you look at, is either native to Japan or the newer references say Sichuan, China. It's the most cold hardy banana. I've been growing it at various gardening locations now for about 15 or 16 years and I'll say that in zone 6 it's completely hardy with minimal protection. You don't have to cover it. I did cover them the first few years and that's not necessary. This plant, last year actually I got lazy and I didn't even mulch it at all. No protection whatsoever, no mulch, no covering, no nothing. And I've got this giant plant. Uh, the individual leaves can be up to six or eight feet long. What this is good for, aside from just looking amazing, is that it's a quick source of shade, a quick screen. It's good livestock feed. I don't know if the food value is terribly high, but I do know that animals love it. Goats, pigs, sheep love to eat it. Geese love to eat it. You can make fiber, which was the original use of it, out of the stems. It does flower sometimes. I've had it flower twice, but interestingly, all of the available literature says that it needs 18 months of frost-free growing time in order to produce a flower. The two years that my plant has flowered were after extremely hard winters where we had temperatures down to the negative teens. And after those winters, they flowered. And it gets a nice big yellow artichoke looking flower, which is followed by very small seedy yellow bananas. And the bananas are not edible. They're just sort of a novelty at best. But this is definitely one of my favorite plants. I think it would be a great plant for biomass, for mulch, I've used the leaves for mulch before. You can certainly use the leaves for wrapping food or wrapping presents. Uh, but you're gonna give them away the same day, of course. They don't last terribly long, but it's a great plant and I don't see them used in the landscape enough. I think a lot of people really can't believe that these things are hardy. And this thing sailed through temperatures into the negative teens two years in a row with minimal leaf mulch, no elaborate covering, no caging, nothing like that, no heat cables, no lights. So I think this plant is absolutely hardy in zone six and basically hardy in zone five as well. And it's a fun plant if you want a tropical look, one of the absolute best. Musa Bazju. Here's the banana tree after hard freeze. It's completely collapsed. Over the next few days, if I don't clean this off, it will sort of all collapse in on itself. Uh, bananas don't have any woody tissue per se. They're not a true woody plant. They're technically a gigantic herbaceous plant and what we consider the stems are, technically speaking, pseudo stems. They're basically just tightly folded leaf bases or petioles. It's very much like the stem on an onion or a leek. It's just a gigantic one. It's the same structurally. So when you get a frost and you freeze these things, they're completely obliterated. Some years we've had a hard freeze and then things have warmed up. And if you have that kind of situation happen, they will actually try to regrow but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We're into mid-November now, and I don't see it warming up enough. So these are definitely done for the season. It's Musabazju after a hard freeze. The plants are not dead. They will return. Next spring, they are late emergers, 
It won't come back until May or even June possibly, depending on how warm it is. They need some real warmth to come back out. 